how i wish i had access to this episode or a resource like this when i had gotten started on my manifestation journey in today's episode i am going to share with you five odd habits which may not even feel like habits which are directly or directly associated with law of attraction or your manifestation practice but these habits end up spoiling your manifestation so bad that you end up delaying your uh, desires coming true you end up losing track you end up losing a lot of time effort and energy gets wasted please save your energy listen to this entire episode at the end i will also tell you how making these changes has impacted my manifestation journey and i can't wait to tell you everything about it just promise me that you're going to listen or watch this episode till the end and i promise to give you value hello and welcome to episode 33 of manifest with paycheck to profit i am manish ahuja india's first money mindset and financial literacy coach and founder of paycheck to profit paycheck to profit is a community for millennials and gen zs who are trying to change their relationship with money who are trying to get financially free but in a responsible way they are trying to understand what exactly are their money blocks use law of attraction to eliminate those money blocks and manifest more wealth into their life if you are one such person make sure that you are subscribed to the podcast the youtube channel or you are following us on social media of your uh, and podcast application of your choice so that you can keep getting these episodes on a weekly basis a new episode of manifest with paycheck to profit releases every week on monday 6 am indian standard time let's get started and tell you about the five habits the first habit is trying to achieve something really really big now when you're trying to manifest something you're supposed to focus on your goals but what people end up making a mistake with all the time is they end up confusing goals with ambitions If your ambition is to become a CEO, five years, seven years, ten years down the line, you have to start with the first step. You're probably a management training today, or you're probably a student at the moment. What you're supposed to focus on is the next step. What your goal is your next step. What can I do to progress in my career? What is the next two steps that I'm supposed to focus on? You focus on your next steps. Those are your goals, and your ambition is to actually end up achieving a really big goal that comes at the end of the tunnel. people try to end up focusing a lot of energy towards the end of the tunnel but what you're supposed to be giving your maximum energy on is what can you do today the second habit that is completely spoiling your manifestation practice is your money blocks now what exactly are your money blocks let me give you a very quick rundown on this it's your belief system it's your thought process it's the way you interact with money it's about it's how you feel about money now if the way you feel about money is flawed or let's say it's absolutely uh, negative the kind of reactions that you're going to get about money or the kind of manifestations that you're going to have about money or the kind of relationship that you're going to have with money is going to be completely flawed now how what can you do about this you can change your money blocks you can eliminate your money blocks one of the main aspects of coaching in paycheck to profit or maybe if you realize one of the reasons why this podcast manifest with paycheck to profit exists is so that i can help you eliminate your money blocks change the way you look at money change the way you think about money let me also invite you to become a part of the profit clan what is profit clan profit clan is an email community for profit heads community of paycheck to profit where i am uh, sharing a lot of resources with the community i'll be sending a lot of emails i'll be inviting you to free master classes so that you can learn how to change your relationship with money eliminate your money blocks get more perspective on the concept of money blocks learn about how do you use law of attraction in a scientific manner to manifest more wealth make sure that you go to the link in the description or uh, the show notes of this particular episode and below the like button and f- subscribe to the profit clan profit clan is going to definitely help you change your relationship with money one step at a time just go ahead and get subscribed to profit clan become a part of the profit clan join the paycheck to profit community on whatsapp everything is free i'm more than happy to help you in any way possible depending on the platform that you are most comfortable with moving on the third habit that is spoiling your relation uh, relationship with money and manifestation is lack of faith the most important aspect about manifestation is your faith in the process the faith in the system knowing that the universe is by your side people do not understand the importance of having faith in the process faith in the system and allowing 
यूनिवर्स टू शो यू एंड गाइड यू ऑन योर वे बी वेरी माइंडफुल अबाउट दिस बी एक्सट्रीमली कॉन्शियस अबाउट योर मैनिफेस्टेशन फेथ एंड द मोर टाइम यू गिव टूवर्ड्स इम्प्रूविंग योर फेथ बाय इन्वेस्टिंग इन टूल्स लाइक एफिमेशन और जर्नलिंग आई हैव डन अलॉट ऑफ एपिसोड अबाउट दिस इन द पास सो गो एंड चेक द पास्ट एपिसोड यू विल एंड अप इंक्रीजिंग योर फेथ एंड हायर द फेथ इज इक्वल्स टू faster your manifestations stronger your manifestation so make sure that you are investing your energy in increasing your faith in the system of manifestation and law of attraction the fourth and the most important aspect which is definitely spoiling your manifestation practice or process is lack of action let me give you a very simple example which will clear the whole concept of lack of action for you within minutes is simple you can't end up traveling to a particular island of your choice a particular mountain of your choice you can't end up seeing the northern lights without planning the trip planning the budget booking the tickets airline tickets making the hotel reservations and actually taking the effort of reaching that destination right for you to enjoy the fruits of that destination for you to actually feel that uh, beauty of nature or enjoy the perks of being in a city of your choice you will have to go through the action of making the planning uh, planning the itinerary making the booking so on and so forth same as the case with every aspect of your manifestation you cannot end up enjoying the fruits without putting in the necessary amount of action necessary amount of effort which is needed for you to actually enjoy that process of manifestation so please do not get lazy about your manifestations find the energy do whatever it takes find goals which are actually in sync with your bigger purpose higher purpose which will automatically make it easier for you to take the necessary pieces of action the fifth and the last habit which is definitely spoiling and having a negative impact on your process of manifestation is lack of self belief now this is just as important as everything else for that matter of fact i always try to keep the most impactful point towards the end because only the serious people who are listening to the episode will get the perspective of this point now understand this you can't manifest even a needle if you don't completely truly believe in your heart that you deserve to manifest that needle now if that needle is such a small and trivial thing if you can't manifest something as small and trivial as a needle how are you going to manifest a home of your choice a career of your choice vacations lifestyle cars money wealth that you actually dream and desire you have to keep working on yourself you have to keep raising your self belief you have to focus on building your self worth you can use the process of journaling to do that you can end up listening to more positive content like this you can focus on spending more time with people who actually you look up to and respect who can help you raise your self worth and self belief for that matter of fact i would very strongly recommend you to listen to or watch the 12th episode of this podcast where i talk about how can improving self worth help you to attract money it's a very powerful episode it's one of my favorite episodes you'll find the link to that episode in the show notes or the description below listen to that episode watch that episode and i have spoken very strongly about feelings that i have had about lack of self belief and how changing my self belief has helped me manifest my career my life my happiness my wealth and so on and so forth i also told you at the end of the episode i'm going to tell you how did i end up making these mistakes or habits which were spoiling my manifestation let me tell you at some level i have made a mistake of all the five habits that i've told you there was a problem with my self belief i was not entirely sure about my money blocks i had to discover them i had to eliminate one money block at a time i'm still working on eliminating some of the money blocks but i am in such a better position right now i was always confused because i was really focusing on my ambitions and not my goals i was not putting in put, putting in enough action and because of all of this my faith also in the process of law of attraction was flawed at some level i am very grateful to have found my way and i hope that this episode has given you perspective or you found at least one or two actionable points which you can actually implement in your life and give god speed to your manifestation journey if you have any questions for me i'll be more than happy to answer them for you you can easily reach out to me and connect with me across social media i'm mr emojical on instagram twitter x and most other platforms you can just reach out to me send me a dm and i'll be more than happy to answer your questions or give you perspective on things that are holding you back in your manifestation or your 
money or investment journey. Let me consolidate all the five points for you very quickly. The five habits that you need to focus on is trying to achieve goals which are manageable, which you completely believe in. They are your goals and not your big long uh, aspiration. Figure out your money blocks and eliminate one money block at a time. Increase your faith in the system and the process of law of attraction and manifestation. Put in the right amount of energy which will help you actually manifest your desire and goals. And focus on building your self-worth and self-belief. Do not forget to check the episode 12 that uh, which will also help you. How can improving your self-image help you attract money? That's a very powerful episode. If you have liked this episode, please take a few seconds and give a five star rating to this episode on the podcast application where you're listening to this episode or just give a like to this video on YouTube. Yes, if you've been listening to this episode, you can watch all these episodes on YouTube. And if you've been watching us, do not forget to subscribe to Manifest with Paycheck to Profit on all podcast applications that you use to listen to podcasts. Thank you so much. Do not forget to become a part of the Profit Plan. Let me very quickly tell you what is the URL just in case if you've been listening to this episode while you're driving or running your errands. It's paychecktoprofit.com slash profit plan. It's P-A-Y-C-H-E-C-K-T-O-P-R-O-F-I-T dot com slash P-R-O-F-I-T-C-L-A-N. Paychecktoprofit.com slash profit plan. Become a part of the Profit Plan. If you would like to get all the updates of Profit Plan on WhatsApp, there's an option to do that as well. Just check the links in the description and I'll you'll find everything. Everything is free and I can't wait to connect with you beyond this episode on social media. Let me know in the comments below what other topics that you would like me to cover with regards to law of attraction, manifesting wealth, manifesting more money and a better lifestyle in your life. What are you getting stuck with? What is What are some aspects of law of attraction that you don't understand? If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to create an episode on your questions and I would love to get your feedback. Thank you so much for listening to this episode till the end. If possible, please take a screenshot of this episode wherever you're listening or watching this take a screenshot share that screenshot on your social media and do not forget to tag mr emojical which is my personal handle and uh, pay to pro and the most preferred social media platform to do this would be instagram please do that you never know you can end up being a catalyst in helping somebody else uh, manifest their dreams and desires through that one post of yours so please do that I'll now see you in the next episode. Until then, please take good care of yourself. Keep smiling. Keep going. Keep growing.